Another major silly season bomb has officially dropped today as Haley Dean has announced she'll drive full-time for Thor Sport Racing in 2023. What's going on guys, it's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. As we just said a second ago, it has been officially confirmed on our YouTube channel today a few minutes ago that Haley Dingham will officially drive the number 13 for Thor Sport Racing in the Campbell Truck Series in 2023 as Thor Sport moves back to Ford in 2023. This right here is a really, really great opportunity for Haley Deegan as she'll be in a very competitive Camping World Truck Series team in 2023. In 2022, Thor Sport Racing had a really, really strong season, having two of their drivers make it to the Final Four, and she'll likely be teammates once again with Matt Kraft, who will be in the 88 truck. She'll have Ty Majeski as a teammate in the 66 and Ben Rose in the 99. So she'll be able to lean on a lot of veteran presence heading into 2023. Now, a lot of people are going to be questioning this move because a lot of people think that she deserves an opportunity in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. And trust me, I do hope in 2023, she does get an opportunity to race in the Xfinity Series a little bit next year and make a couple select Xfinity Series starts around five to six starts because I think that's really going to help her experience. And honestly, I think she deserves an opportunity to run more in Xfinity. But she's going to remain in trucks next year because there weren't a lot of potential opportunities for her to run full-time in Xfinity. And if you're going to be in a good team, which Door Sport is a really fast organization, of course, won the 2021 Camp World Truck Series title. And with all that veteran presence over there, I really think that is going to help out Haley Deegan heading into next year. Now, it's no secret, though, that Haley Deegan's stats in the Truck Series have not been really that good. She's only scored three top tens in the Camping World Truck Series so far to them last year. But last year, she had a lot of Dan Fs. So she's really going to have to improve her craft. And I think she's going to have a really good opportunity to improve her craft. Now, I'm not saying Haley Deegan is going to win a championship this year, this upcoming season in 2023 with Thor Sport Racing. But I think that Haley Deegan will have a pretty good year in that number 13 truck. Because, again, she'll run the 13. She's going to have a great opportunity here to perform. And I think she'll be able to lean on that veteran presence with guys like Matt Craft and Ty Majeski. She'll be able to lean on that veteran presence and have a lot of really strong runs heading into the 2023 season. Because, again, she really needs to improve this year. This is a really good opportunity for him, and she needs to step it up to the plate this year. I'm not saying she needs to win a title, but you're in a Thor Sport truck. You're going to be expected to not only win, but also make the playoffs. Now, I'm not saying that she'll win, but I think that if she really wants to show her stuff, she's got to prove herself by you know winning races in this series and contending for top 10s and top 5s as frequently as possible. Christian Nagas, who drove the 98 truck, who she is replacing, of course, in 2023. He didn't win a race last year, but had a couple times where he's really strong and made it to the round of eight. That's one of the goals for her. And I know my expectations for Haley Deegan going into 2023 are really, really high, but she's going to be expected to form a lot better heading into the 2023 season. And I think she'll potentially be able to improve herself and do as well as she can. So she is expected to do really, really well. And I think this helps her trajectory as well. And it does make a little bit of sense for her, though, to stay in the Camp World Truck Series and get more experience. And I do think going into next year, she will be able to improve and show a lot more pace and a lot more speed in this series. It also helps Ford a little bit because going into 2023, there were changes with Ford. They lost Tricon Garage. It's Tricon Garage is now a Toyota team that was formerly David Gillen Racing. They are now a Toyota team. So now Ford's strength in the development program as well, it really helps them out as well. Now, looking at Haley Deegan's future past 2023, I wouldn't be surprised by 2024 if she is driving full-time. It really depends on what's going on with Cole Custer because this has been one of the biggest stories really for the last two weeks is really where she was going. We initially thought she'd be going to Stuart Haas Racing. Then we thought she'd be going to Front Row Motorsports. Some of us saw she'd be going to SS Greenlight Racing. But now it's official that she's getting an opportunity to drive full-time in the Camp World Truck Series once again. Well, the Craftsman Truck Series, I should say, once again. And again, I think this is a really great opportunity for her to get some really strong experience and improve because she is going to have to prove herself this season and having that core group of people where I think she'll be more competitive. Because here's the thing, DJR Racing, that organization, while she wasn't that impressive with DJR Racing per to say, I don't think DJR Racing was the fastest organization. I know Ryan Priest got two wins with the team and Todd Gillen also got a win with that team. But Todd Gillen, of course, was in the Cup Series, and Ryan Priest had a lot of Cup Series experience and always would get the best out of equipment regardless where he was in, equipment he was in. You look at her teammate, Tanner Gray, who she was with, and honestly, they he was not that great either when he was teammates with her. Deegan was a little worse than him at the beginning of the year, but as the year progressed, 
and went on. We saw improvements from Haley Deegan, and she did improve a little bit more. But you also could tell that she was getting really, really frustrated. But after a really strong run in the Xfinity Series, where she finished 13th in her NASCAR Xfinity Series debut, we really thought that there would be potential for her to maybe jump up full-time in Xfinity. And like I said, I do hope that Haley Deegan does get an opportunity to make some select Xfinity Series starts with SS Greenlight Racing, because that team has not announced their plans for 2023. But again, sponsorship funding is the name of the game, and you're going to have to have that stuff. But the good news for her is she's likely going to have her sponsorship funding from companies like Monster Energy and Toter and companies that have sponsored her in the past. I think they'll be able to help her get that sponsorship and funding that she really is going to need heading into 2023. And I think it will help her really a lot. So like I said, my expectations for her are a little bigger because she is in a better organization. I'm expecting her to at least make the playoffs. I'm not expecting her to win because that's a really high expectations. I know Thor Sport equipment is really, really strong equipment. But expecting her to win a lot of floor sport is really going to be a tough mark. And the Truck Series is going to have a lot of competition next year. But also, you're not going to have John Hernemacek and Chandler Smith in that series next year, which were two of the best drivers last year in 2022. But she will still have to deal with drivers like Carson Hosevar, her teammates, Ty Majeski, Ben Rhodes, Matt Crafton, Zane Smith, who just won the Camp World Truck Series title in 2022. And she's going to have a lot of competition that she's really going to have to face and go up against in 2023. And I think she will be able, I think she will be able to prove herself this year because she's going to be in faster coming. Because if you give her an opportunity to learn and do good things, she will improve. And I think that she will improve this upcoming season. Like, I really think she'll be a contender for the playoffs this upcoming season. I know those are high expectations, but I really do believe in Haley Deegan a lot. I think she's a really talented driver. And you have to remember something about Haley Deegan. She's only 21 years old. I know I've been kind of hard on younger drivers in the past, but there are times where I think younger drivers, it takes time for them to build their craft and build their development. And I believe that in 2023, she will be able to do that. And I think she will be able to improve in that number 13 truck. So I think just to get some top fives, gets quite a few top tens next year. And I think she'll be very competitive heading into 2023. I'll discuss more about this on the channel tomorrow. I'll give more of my thoughts on that on the channel tomorrow when I do the next NASCAR news video. But I wanted to give my quick initial thoughts on the Haley Deegan news this morning as she'll drive for Thor Sport full-time in 2023. This has been expected for a while, but she'll get an opportunity to drive for Thor Sport Racing heading into the 2023 NASCAR Camping World Truck Series season. Well, NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series season. So, that's for today's short NASCAR news video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Notifications on so you know I, when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as for me on Patreon as well. Links to below for that and combo your thoughts on today's video. What are expectations for Haley Deegan heading into the 2023 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series season? Let me know in the comments below. Tomorrow on my channel, we're going to have a NASCAR news video. We'll talk more in depth about the Haley Deegan news. We'll also talk about Front Row Motorsports tomorrow on the channel and any other NASCAR stories to come out. On Saturday, will either be a potential Silly Season update or the 10 drivers who should race in the SRX. If I do a Silly Season update Saturday, that SRX 10 drivers video will come out here in on Sunday. So expect some content on the way as we get close to Christmas time. A lot of fun content on the way, and I cannot wait to share with you guys all the content I've got coming in as we get close to the end of 2022. So anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for some more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.